sun is shining, the grass is green. Like I could sing about it. Um, I had been MIA for probably all week. Actually, I don't think I picked up the camera because earlier this week, Jason was sick. And then I got it and then Jay got it. So um, it's been a long week of the stomach flu. If you know, you know. But today I feel like I'm among the living again. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna buzz over. I'm actually here, I'm at the farm. And I am going to go ahead and chore the bottle calves and feed my ponies. And then I'm going home to sue some much dreaded paperwork that I have been slowly putting together all week. And um, it's funny, I have been in finance. I had been in finance for 10 years. So I was in an office setting, right? You'd think I would be able to handle paperwork. I will be honest, I have come to hate my office. I have come to hate it. Hate it. Um, I put it off, I procrastinate, I don't want to do it, and then I'm stuck doing all 12 months in like a week. A new month is coming this Friday. So with that, I'm working on some personal goals for myself, for YouTube, for our business in the hay department, just all the things that goes around it. But um, I'm working on some just like mental health cleansing and just overall the good stuff. Um, I am so thankful for this sunshine. You have no idea how much my body needs vitamin D. Uh, everything is greening up. I am so excited for hay season, guys. Like, I am so excited to take you guys along for the ride. Um, obviously you guys come along with us anyway, but, uh, here lately I just have been in a funk and it makes me kind of sad and depressed and I just don't video. Like that's, that's the honest truth. It's hard for me to be on a camera when I'm just not feeling it. So I took a break and that's okay. That is perfectly okay to take a break. So here's my little word of the day. Take a break. It's okay. It's okay. And if not, grab a Snickers. Isn't that the commercial? Anyway, um, milking calves, feeding horses. I'm running into the dollar store to grab a few things and then um, just work at home. So there's where we're at. You guys haven't missed out on much, just us being sickly, the grass growing, it rained, it rained. We are so thankful for the rain, even if it brings mud. Um, Jason has been knocking out projects in the shop and I am sorry, I just, he's not gonna video, the plain and simple. So. If I don't go down there and video, then you're missing out on it. So he's been still doing stuff. He's working on the fertilizer buggy. Um, it went down not last year. Maybe it did go down last year. I'd have to go back and look. At some point, the fertilizer buggy went down. I broke it. He broke it. Then it really went down. So he's been revamping that. And once I get at, get back to the shop, then he's in a frame of mind to talk about it. We'll talk about it because we need to fertilize pastures. We need to aerate pastures. We need to harrow pastures. And then we need to get everything ready for hay season. So then we need to possibly aerate and fertilize pasture or fields. So difference between pastures and paddocks, cows, hay ground, fields. Pasture, paddocks, fields. Got it? Got it? Great. Okay, let's go feed calves. Well, they were crying. Teddy! There they are. Bix! Teddy! Mama's coming. Um, so this week I may even try to bring those other two that are in the horse barn over here and may just make some extra pens for them. Jason humored me, brought the horses over. Um, I probably am not going to mess with them today, but my goal is maybe tomorrow to start lunging them. I do need to clean out their pen, pick the poop. I need to order some muck buckets. Don't we shy? You all need Jason to come over and trim your feet. Are you telling the people good morning? Hi, baby girl. You giving them kisses. You're such a good girl. So Shiloh is my running mare. Boop. Oh, he just wants some loves. Yes. Uh, running mare. Leo, I bought as another running mare. Or mare. Gilding. Sorry, bud. So I got Leo when he was a yearling and... It's crazy to believe that he's seven, but uh, Jason's really gonna take him up. Don't be a pain, Shiloh. Don't be, don't be mean. Um, don't be mean. Um, he's going to start being Jason's right hand, hopefully. Shiloh, don't be mean. And then let's get these guys fed.
I'm gonna have to find my little uh, hangers. John bought me some hangers several years ago for bottle calves and I think they're at the horse barn back at the shop. So I'll have to find those. Um, I'm also looking for camera mounts to go in the tractor. Just getting all the things geared up for hazies and we still have to put monitors in and do a whole bunch of just different things. But finding my tripod is one thing. Um, having extra batteries is another and getting the mounts lined out. So, and just, I am just loving this sunshine, guys. Like, it is so good for my soul. So good. What do you guys think? Hmm? I know, you guys just want some love, too. You guys are so needy. So, Jalen's probably going to take Teddy um, for her 4-H bottle calf. Since he's been over here, she hasn't been able to work with him nearly as much unless we're working over here on the barn. But uh, as I told her as soon as summer started and uh, we got a little less chaotic going on, are you giving kisses to him? Um, that we would bring over, bring Teddy back to um, the shop. But right now he just, you all have it. Um, we have so many projects going on, such such as farming, right? Such as farming. Um, it just takes a while. It just, when you do projects yourself, it just takes time. You do right, Leo. So eventually, in this barn, oh, they're kicking the, over there. I was like, what is that? Eventually, um, we're going to have maternity pins. Obviously, we don't need them now because we only have five cows left to, left out to calve. So, that's good. Can you guys just hang out here a minute? This hay is great hay. It just does not stay together very well. Hey, Leah. Happened to feed Kylo in a separate area because she's kind of a... She's a mare! Is what she is. She's a mare. Got that done? Get them some water. And uh, yeah, I was telling you about the barn, right? I don't know. If, I know I didn't do any videoing of this. And I, I realize this seems like a ways to go. But we have a lot of backfill to do. This is our loadout alley for the cattle barn. <laughs> Jason's got to make me a hitching post for the horsies. I am just, I am in such a good mood today. I'm just incredibly blessed. So blessed. Thanks for uh, tagging along. If you're watching this, make sure you guys are liking, commenting, subscribing, all the things. We are so close to 20,000 subscribers, you guys. Blows my mind. I remember seeing like 2,000 and getting all excited. And now it's like, it just, I am thankful for you guys showing up every single day. Thank you. Okay, on to the next job. Look how green everything looks. Oh. I don't know if you guys can hear the happiness in my voice today. It's absolutely gorgeous. Look at all that grass coming. Maybe we'll stop by and look at the alfalfa field. How many of you guys were with us for planting the alfalfa this fall? and then the oats are finally coming. I was beginning to think they just rotted and died, but they are growing. They're growing. If you guys remember right, we mudded those in in February. Oats are kind of one of those things you can just kind of throw out there and they'll probably grow more than likely, so. But let's go check this alfalfa that we drilled in in September, I think. Pretty sure it was September. Had to have been. Probably around my birthday. We'll go find that video too. I'll throw it somewhere for y'all if you missed it. Look at how beautiful these rows are. Obviously, a little bit weedy, grassy, but it is what it is. Look at this beautiful alfalfa. Isn't it gorgeous? You can row it. 
it's growing. Alfalfa always stresses me out because it's the last thing to come green. And I was really, really paranoid that the alfalfa was going to get hurt. But look at it. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Um, so as a grass farmer, we like green grass. And uh, shut this gate back up. We, we rent that farm. It's right next to our cow farm. So it's really handy. We do not raise cows there. Um, we do not. It's strictly hay ground. Um, however, for the last two years, we had to break up um, the soil from having alfalfa in it for so long that we put in two years of corn silage. Um, so yeah, you guys can go back and watch those videos, but we did disc up the corn stalks. We put in this alfalfa, it's growing and hay season could not come soon enough for me. So what'd you name them? Um, Daisy and Donald. Daisy and Donald. Daisy. them little guys they're all up at the water tank i'm not even sure they're right in the right paddock actually i'm 100 percent sure they're not in the paddock that they're supposed to be i didn't see oh. Oh. good mom four more he's still slick hi mom He's big, big boy. Heads up. Good mom.